Hi everyone, my name's Dr. Rachel Corman and I'm the Feline Specialist at Veterinary Specialist Services. And this short video is just to demonstrate how to nebulize your cat at home. Um, this is my beautiful model, Snow, and she's gonna help me demonstrate this procedure this morning. So generally we'll recommend nebulization for cats that have chronic um, lower airway diseases, potentially such as feline asthma, and it can be really helpful for cats that are having flare up um, of their asthma. And also cats that have chronic nasal discharge um, and maybe rhinosinusitis um, or um, other types of um, chronic sneezing. And it's a very, very good way of just helping to dislodge um, some of the nasal discharge that's in the, in the nose. Um, and also just helping to improve um, overall airway health and hydration um, as well. Sometimes we'll ask you to put specific medications into the nebulization chamber, such as antibiotics um, or bronchodilators, but other times we'll ask you just to put in um, uh, saline or tap water. So we'll make sure that that's clear to you in your instructions, but if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact us at the clinic at any time. This is a little portable nebulizing unit um, from a company called Breathitech. Um, you can find their information um, and a link to their site on the website and you can just purchase these online. I really like these units because they're nice and small, but more importantly, they're actually really quiet for cats um, and the cats tolerate them really well. So basically what you do, this is the little chamber for introducing your medications has a little flip top lid and a seal in here, like so. So what I'll do here, I'm just putting in some distilled water. So about three mils, so three to five mils, the chamber will collect. And then you basically just slide this down until you hear the click. The button to switch the chamber or to switch the nebulizing unit on is at the top. And you can see this very, very fine mist that comes out. It does make a very, very quiet hissing sound, which some cats can be a little bit nervous of, um, but this is one of the quietest units that are available on the market. Now, I will say, Snow has never had this done before, um, so this is a, a normal reaction for her. And if you're doing this regularly for your cat at home, it's really important to make sure that they get some positive rewards with treats and things um, after the procedure as well. And you'll find that most cats will tolerate it very well once they're used to the, the sound and the smell too. So ideally what we would do would be to have that steam coming right up as close to the nose of the cat as you can. All right, and then other ways that you can do it if you have a cat that you find it really hard to, to get that cat to tolerate the steam therapy is to actually use little chambers like this one. Um, and you can make a chamber like this really easily. Just go down to your local supermarket or your local hardware store and just buy a large plastic box. And then what you can do is just actually introduce the steam into the box like so and then just let your cat sit quietly in the box with the steam penetrating um, into the chamber that way and you can also give the cat lots of treats and things in the chamber um, and they can just sit in there for a couple of minutes while they're getting that inhalational therapy. Once you've finished um, and you make sure that all of that steam or the medication that you need to give um, has evaporated from that chamber. There's a little button down at the bottom here, so you just press that, take the chamber off, and just gently rinse out the chamber so that there's no residue. Just using tap water for that would be fine. So hopefully that's given you some useful information on how to perform nebulization for your cat at home. Um, like I said, it's really important to just try and get the cats um, used to the procedure very slowly. And certainly things like positive um, rewards and positive reinforcement um, for cats like that 
um, is going to be really, really useful to ouch, <laughs> to improve um, their acceptance of that procedure. As a side note, if you do have to use the chamber technique for your cats, it's really important just to never leave them unobserved while they're in the chambers. It can get very hot within the chambers and obviously, you know, ventilation is also compromised as well. So a maximum of maybe three to four minutes inside the chamber um, would be ideal. So if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact us at the hospital at any time.